Today we are going over some of the craziest Shark Tank products that were ever pitched on the show. I hope you guys are ready because this is a good one. Welcome back to the channel guys. Make sure if you're new to Enchant Films to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a like also if you love Shark Tank videos and want us to do more of them. Now let's go ahead and get right into it. First up we have technology enabled clothing. Scott Jordan went into the tank looking for a $500,000 investment for a 15% equity stake in his company Scott E Vest, which makes vest to accommodate all of your gadgets. He initially impressed the investors with his $5 million in sales and O'Leary offered him $1 million for 30% equity stake. Jordan made a call to one of his advisors, original Apple computer inventor Steve Wozniak, and decided that the sharks were lowballing him. That's where it got ugly, and Jordan proceeded to point and yell at the investors, basically telling them why they're worthless. Not the best way to build professional relationships among people you have never met and who are more successful than you will ever be in your lifetime. This is ridiculous. I don't know why they did it, but still, it was pretty funny as Waters definitely got heated and Scott ended up getting roasted by the Sharks. Here we have Copa Divina, which is actually one of the most successful Shark Tank pitches of all time. However, this was a bad one because he first pitched his single serving wine company, Copa Divina, in season two, leaving multiple deals on the table because he found offers too low. He did the same thing in season three. It's understandable, however, that Martin would turn down O'Leary's offer of $600,000 for 51% equity stake in the company during his first trip to the tank. But his reluctance in season three was especially frustrating since the Sharks were willing to negotiate on Martin's terms. He spent such a long time negotiating with the Sharks in his second pitch that they were convinced that he was merely using the show as an advertising platform and had no intention of ever making a deal and often wanted to go ahead and just brag in their faces for saying they were wrong. His second pitch inspired Cuban and John to start looking out for what they called gold diggers on the show. I didn't like you then, I don't like you now, Corcoran told Martin. And it's true. He was a really tough guy to pitch to. I mean, the dude has a weird look to him. He has a weird, you know, prestige to him. Just comes off with a weird vibe. And yes, this dude literally was bragging in the Sharks' faces after they made a very bad mistake around him. One of my favorite inventions and funnier ones, Wake and Bacon back in Season 2. Maddie Salen entered the tank in 2011, around the height of the bacon craze in the U.S. He came to the Sharks looking for around $40,000 for a 20% stake equity in his company wake and bacon which made a wooden alarm clock that broils bacon set to the time you wake up not only did salim not know the basics like cost of production but the clock was a potential fire hazard on top of that the sharks pointed out that the novelty would eventually wear thin for many bacon fans whose rooms developed a permanent aroma of grease at least salon had the composure to leave with a smile and thank you after o'leary told him i'm going to put that in my museum of really bad ideas that kill people Still though, he did take it like a champ, and Maddie thought it was pretty funny and liked the chance to advertise his product. See, this is what I'm talking about. I love dudes who literally will take their opportunities and make the most of it. And it was awesome to see that he didn't take anything personal as well. Lastly, we have attached notes. Now, Mary Ellen Simonsen asked the Sharks for a 100,000% opportunity for a 20% stake equity in their company, which is the attached notes. A retractable board that you attach to either side of your laptop monitor and place your post-it notes onto. Hervicek asked her to convince him why this isn't the worst product he's ever seen, to which Simonsen replied that laptop business is a billion dollar industry. She mentioned that she hadn't actually sold any yet, however, which completely turned the sharks away as if they weren't already interested. Apparently Simonsen didn't notice that even in 20, 2009, when she gave her pitch, there were multiple services for creating e-notes for your desktop. Still though, a good idea, but she didn't execute it all the way through. Well, that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure to comment down below what video you guys would like to see next. I'm signing off, guys, and as always, I will see you in the next upload.